a solid proof is found that is almost always available, the hive surface. Getting to this spawn is as easy as it can be. Travel to Grey Island from Benor or Redron and then follow the path into the water vortex. Once at the island, just head north past the mountain and that's it. Be aware that you can find a depot in the island and the NPC rock in a hard place buys everything that is dropped by the monsters in here, which is convenient for converting the loot from your hunts straight into gold, but it also sells all types of supplies, so you can refill quickly. However, keep in mind that you don't want to sell everything. There is two creature products that are needed for immunements. The most valuable will be the Crawler Head Plating, which is in high demand and is used for the energy protection immunement. And there is also the Waspoid Wings needed for the speed immunement. Not very useful, but maybe it has a demand on your server. Lastly, keep an eye out for the rare drop of Grasshopper Legs. Those will be very valuable on any server. With that said, let's talk about the spawn. I will cover two different labs that will be based off your skills. For starters, on my night on a new server, level 100 with 83 club and midi movements, I did a big lap across the surface, ignoring the south and the towers. At the time, I felt like it was better off to do it like this, because I was already struggling a bit in some pools. So hunting like this, the raw experience was of around 470k, and usually going negative on loot, counting everything at NPC price. And on this lap, I will get on average 5 crawler heads, which on my server is about 4k each, making this spawn slightly profitable. However, now moving on to the second lap, for this one, I'm using a EK level 116 with 111 axe and use a fully imbued weapon. This lap is around the east side, including the tower to the south, which is by far the highlight of the spawn. The amount of creatures per floor is high, so it's important to not surround yourself and instead go towards the openings that will give room to three creatures at a time, which the first two floors have right near the stairs, so it's a lot easier to do. Clearing this way is far more doable, and is something that I didn't think of for my EK on the new server. Moving on into the tower, the upper floors get easier, so you can actually let yourself get surrounded from the third floor upwards. After clearing the tower, just rush down and then east through the shore and north to continue the lap. Then it's just continuing a circle around a specific spots where you can lure 3 to 5 monsters all the way until you get back to the tower. Hunting like this, the raw experience was of 750k, which is a 50% increase over the other. However, obviously, big part of it is because of the higher skills. Additionally, this way you kill a lot more crawlers, and in the 20 minutes of hunting, I got 20 head plats, making it around 80k profit per 20 minutes on my server. Also, since you're killing more crawlers and wasp boys, then the chances of looting the grasshopper legs are also higher, which I happen to loot one of them giving me about 200k extra profit on that little hunt. The hype itself is a dynamic spawn that has different stages, which each stage can be unlocked by doing different tasks. In particular, the surface has 4 different tasks that can be done, which I will cover on another video. But just so you know, the high pores that summon the lesser swarmers are part of one of those tasks. I ignore them in the videos because it's the best approach if you're just hunting. After reaching the second stage, the walls to the inner hive are open and then the east tower can be accessed. That's another spawn I will cover soon. And lastly, on the third stage, the west tower gets unlocked. And also, when this stage is active, the surface will have ladybugs spawning. Those can be tamed with a four-leaf clover. They are also easy to kill and could add a little bit of extra experience if you're hunting. And my last tip, in the pools you have a lot of swarmers avoid using Utido first, and instead use your Exceta Rest, since they are weak and sometimes can run away after your first spell, so it's better to make sure that doesn't happen. Now that's all I got for this video, if you made it this far, please let me know in the comments your thoughts on trying to spawn with two knights with different skills, it takes more effort to do, and it'd be nice to know if it is well received. So thank you for watching and see you next time.